Um, so hi everyone, I'm Sanks. Uh, I'm one of the co-founders of Recall and I've been having these really amazing customer calls. Uh, I learn a lot on them and I thought it would be useful to start recording them and have some of the use cases from some of our top users shared. And so today I have Jean joining us. Uh, Jean, why don't you kick us off with a bit of an introduction to yourself? I'm fascinated by relationships and their implications, which from my perspective is the basis for understanding anything and everything. And I build models. I build lots of models. Um, usually some people call them causal loop diagrams. I just call them relationship models. And I build many every day. And some of them I post on LinkedIn and some of them I won't let out of the box, but, and I've been doing it for 50 years now. So. Amazing, Gene. And what, what problem were you facing when you stumbled upon recall or what were you looking for when you found us? I was, I was not looking for anything when I found recall. Okay. I, just, I stumbled across it because I watch uh, at least a dozen YouTube videos every day, trying to keep mm -hmm. up on various and sundry things. And and it just caught me. I said, really? And, and then I watched six or seven other videos about recall. And then I found out that it had been around for 18 months, and I was really upset because, because <laughs> I could have been using it a long time ago. There's a, there's a certain series of things that, it does that I haven't found someplace else collectively, right? I mean, you find you find pieces of capabilities in different places, but they're not all wired together. I've had a 29-year love-hate relationship with a piece of software called The Brain to the point where, I mean, it has an interface that is so freaking seductive, but it was never what I wanted it to be, so... After months of use, I would delete it, and then a few months, it would be back again. So it was just <clears throat> certain aspects of recall that we are going to talk about that connected really, really well. I mean, if you're comfortable, Gene, I'd love if you'd share your screen and maybe walk us through like your typical use case uh, of recall, and we can sort of take it from there. I said that I watch a, a dozen YouTube videos a day. These are all the ones I watched last night on um, from cancer remission. This I happened to catch this one video by this woman, and it seems so good that I watched a whole bunch of them. And then the question is, <clears throat> what do you do with it? Well, it's wonderful because here is the concise summary of the video. And when I look at the concise summary, sometimes it's enough and sometimes it isn't, but I can always go to chat and tell it that I want a detailed summary of the same video and it will give me that. And I can then use that in terms of, if you go to, to, um, to health, um, I'm a great fan of, of Dr. Grieger. And I'm also a great fan of this woman, who's a doctor who does videos about food. And okay, who, who is so, out of curiosity? Uh, you know what you could do? You could also share it with me. If you open up one of the links, you could just uh, share the your recall link with me. Share. Copy link? Yeah, you can just pop that in the chat. So I'll save it to my recall. Oh couple of aspects that, that I was really fascinated with was <clears throat> it will it will summarize the video whether or not there's a transcript for it mm -hmm, or mm -hmm. not, mm -hmm. which in several instances I have found things that there aren't transcripts for. Mm -hmm. And I liked the way that it summarized them for me. I like the way that when it does <clears throat> the concise summary, it keeps the the timestamps on the pieces mm -hmm. so I if I'm interested I can go to a specific spot in the video to take a look mm -hmm. at it um, 
what else I like is uh, I like to chat. I am not interested in recall becoming Notebook LM. Okay. Mm -hmm. They're mm -hmm. different mm -hmm. products for different intents. Mm -hmm. I like the ability to chat with the video. I understand that the developers are working on the ability to chat with my entire repository, yeah. though from my perspective, because the set of content that I am growing is so diverse, I don't see any utility in just in conversing with the entire repository. Okay. What, okay. What would what would make sense to me would be to say, let me converse with my health repository. Or if I go to economics or what I go to economics. And down here to MMT, let yeah, me MMT. converse with everything that I've stored under MMT, which is a lot. If I did Kelton and Ray, I yeah. would get <clears throat> all of them. Okay? Yeah, yeah. And, and being able to converse with that set of content, I would find extremely meaningful. As We're going to have that, Gene. So basically, when we have chat, you'll be able to say, I want to chat with my notes on the Kelton and on the Ray, and I want a summary of those notes. You know, So okay. you'll be able to define the context in which you have that conversation. Sounds like magic. Okay. <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> I'm really, really excited. I actually got a demo from Eagle, our CTO, a couple of days ago, and I was like, Phew. This is uh, this is going to be exciting, especially because I don't think you take your own notes in Recall, right? You're only saving external content. Is that right? Oh no, I have so I have some of my own notes. Okay, okay, awesome. Because that's why I actually think it's so powerful. Because I have notes I've created myself, and I love combining that with also notes that I've been saving. Uh, so that combination and being able to sort of have that conversation, I think, will be really powerful. Here, here are my notes on Recall. Ah, okay. 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 And, okay. and the, there's, I actually had it create a quiz. On your own there. notes? On my own notes. Yeah, okay. Which, which I, after a time, after going through it a few times, I actually deleted. Yeah. Oh, okay. Though, though the surprising thing was, I got the answers to some of the questions on my own notes wrong, okay? <laughs> Stop that. which is really disturbing. Okay, it says, yeah, um, oh, "Wait a minute, did, did you really create these notes?" <clears throat> it wasn't a problem with the questions. It was, in fact, I didn't remember what I put in the notes. I mean, which, honestly, this happens. This happens. And so, <clears throat> the extent. Oh, you've to been which on I, a streak. You've been on a good streak, well, Gene. But I've been doing some other things for the last two weeks. So I, um, <clears throat> I realized that after a while I had to decide. I mean, there was like two dozen sets of quizzes okay. in here. I had mm -hmm. to finally say, uh, well, these it's enough of these, these, and these. So delete these and get them out because it never stops. Okay. Yeah. With um spaced repetition i mean yeah. it just uh, yeah. and you know if you if you get it wrong it will ask you that question forever forever okay. yeah that's true it's really hard to 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 get out of the once you're getting it wrong uh offsetting which is, which is not a bad it. thing okay yeah. yeah it's annoying yeah it's, <laughs> it's annoying it's not a bad thing <laughs> it's annoying <laughs> What's annoying is that I keep getting it wrong. And then I, because I think I get so angry that I've been asked the same question. I'm like, and then I keep getting it wrong. And then I know I'm going to keep seeing it even more. I've also gotten to that point where some cards, I'm like, I was learning about sirtuins. Um, like, I think it's like a longevity protein. This is, for some reason, it's mm -hmm. not sticking. I, did, I had to delete the card out of my review because I'm like, I'm actually just not going to get this one right. Um, the other part that I, I still sort of trip over mm. 
is the difference between a taxonomy and an ontology, okay? Mm -hmm. This is a taxonomy. Yeah. All of these all of these pieces are here because they have tags on them that makes mm -hmm. them end up here. Mm -hmm, okay. This is an ontology mm -hmm. based upon mm -hmm. the connections that exist within the content. Mm -hmm. Like this is chat GPT. So mm -hmm, that if mm -hmm. I look at the, the graph for this, it connects to GPT and, and open AI. Okay. Um, so basically we weren't even sure, should we show users this or should we actually keep it hidden? Because the whole foundation of recall is built on this graph database. So let's say, do you have augmented browsing installed? Sure. Yeah. Uh, so if we can we open a page that you know you've had some links on? Maybe if we just hover. Oh, there we go. So NVIDIA, right. So basically, the utility from the visual graph we need to build. You should be able to, I think we'll do, I mean, we'll do a full revamp of it visually, but we should be able to enable you to search it, interact with it, add it, download it, and have a lot more usefulness that you're going to get. Maybe even what I would love is almost a summary of the graph here. So I can almost read. So maybe I'll have the visual and then I'll also have like a text summary to read it. But the reason I suggested you open augmented browsing is because the way the utility is slowly surfacing is in ways like this. So it, it's not using the visual representation. It's using the foundation of the foundation of a graph view that's enabling us to find connections while you read and then say, oh, uh, you know, this is a no brainer for NVIDIA, but maybe you're researching NVIDIA and you actually want to keep top of mind all the other articles that I've mentioned NVIDIA. And now you can see you've had three different things mentioned NVIDIA. Maybe as you're scrolling, you're like, oh, this Hugging Face article I actually forgot about. Maybe you'd want to click on it and it would actually right. take you back to exactly where NVIDIA was mentioned. Um, yes. Absolutely. Yeah. I'll say yeah. a couple things about augmented browsing it's um it's it's local first so when we pick up those keywords like in this case nvidia there's no llm doing that because we didn't put an llm in the browser that's just right. logic that paul had written and that's why honestly it needs work this was just the beta because we weren't actually even sure would people would this resonate is this something people even want uh, and we've actually been getting pretty positive feedback so i think as we invest more in it uh, we can ensure that there's more relevance. You'd be able to customize it. Um, so, yeah, I think it's I think it's coming. Uh, it's coming for sure. Gene, yes. so <laughs> would you say the only benefit right now is maybe just curiosity or playing with it? Is it peace of mind that it's a place to save? Uh, is it time saving at all? I'm just curious. It's, where, no, it's 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 where far more than a curiosity. Okay. Okay. So. <clears throat> Um, oh, I have to do this. The, I have I have a lot of Zoom calls. I can go ahead after the call. I drop the video in here. Recall does mm -hmm. a summary. Mm -hmm. So when I send Phil back the link to the video, I also send him the summary. Oh, this from is here. cool. Because I don't like, I don't like the summaries that anybody else has done. So um, to be able to have them here, to be able to chat with the video or chat with the content of the Zoom call that that we had. Um, That's cool. Okay, I find That's that cool. utility. I'm a real fan of. The spaced repetition. Mm -hmm. I I really like the difference between the taxonomy and and in the ontology. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what happens when you get old? You know, you can't remember. That's okay, Dean. Um, so <clears throat> I'm I appreciate the difference between the two, mm -hmm. and it's it's a learning curve on my part. Mm -hmm. 
and I have a lot of hope for mm -hmm. what I see as as the potential for me being able to use it better as I understand it more. The the whole the the idea that to to be able to care curate the taxonomy. Some of these things that I have in here should probably go in three or four different places. Mm -hmm. And all I have mm -hmm. to do is add the tags to them to get it to do that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But back, That's right. again, we're back to the problem of me <clears throat> actually having the discipline to curate the to taxonomy. Yeah, right? I hear you. Um, Jean, I, just how did you get your uh, meeting in here? You upload your meetings to YouTube. Like you have a private playlist that you upload them into and then you put it into Recall. I I record, I try to record most okay. all of, are you recording this? Yeah, 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 of course, of course. Okay, so I record my Zoom calls and I drop them into YouTube unlisted so nobody can find them. Okay, okay. <clears throat> I have to put them someplace. Yeah, all yeah, right? yeah. And, and I want to share them with whoever I had the Zoom call with. Mm -hmm. That's super cool. That's a great, that's a great use case. Jean, I could wrap up with um, uh, any advice you have to new users, any core features that are this wish list, um, anything like that that you'd like to share, I think would be helpful. Um, yeah. Try it. You'll like it. I showed it to somebody this morning and it was like Pavlov's dog. I mean, it was like, it's the 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 comment that I got back twenty minutes later was, "Wow, 